Yakuza 0 has some amazing antagonists. The three lieutenants of the Dojima family all have traits that make them who they are, as they represent the different aspects of Yakuza life. However, there's always something more than meets the eye. Every single antagonist has something underneath the facade that they give off. In the last video, we talked about Hiroki Awano and the hedonistic lifestyle that he lives. At first glance, he only cares about the high life, only being in the Yakuza to find beautiful women, fancy food, and of course, golf. However, the tragedy of his life tells us why he became the way that he is. The tenacity that brought him to this point has disappeared due to overwhelming odds, as he figured that living the high life would be a lot easier than just aiming for the top. The death of a man's tenacity is the tragedy of Hiroki Awano. But this video isn't about him. This video is about the business and economic side of the Dojima family, the man who started the entire story of the game in the first place, the final hurdle that Kiryu had to go through before becoming the Dragon of Dojima. In this video, we'll be taking a deeper dive on Keiji Shibusawa. But before we get started, I'm gonna have to ask you to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this. It helps the channel out a ton with the algorithm and hitting the bell icon will let you know whenever I post, so you never miss a video. Keiji Shibusawa is one of the lieutenants of the Dojima family, as well as being the patriarch to his own family, the Shibusawa family. Shibusawa seems to be in his late 40s and seems to be the most serious faced of the three lieutenants. He has short hair with the sides being shaved close, he wears rimless glasses and a black pinstripe suit over a grey shirt and a yellow tie. However, after a certain point in the game, he stops wearing glasses. At first, Shibusawa seems to be a calm and rational person, even giving Kiryu the benefit of the doubt when he was accused of being a murderer. However, under the exterior of that calm demeanor is a man with no sense of empathy whatsoever. In actuality, Shibusawa is a cold and manipulative man and stops at nothing to get at what he wants. And what he wants is the role of captain of the Dojima family. He has an extreme case of superiority complex over everyone that's around him, even his own patriarch, Sohei Dojima. He believes that the only way to rise to the top is to use everyone around him as stepping stones, using other people's blood to write his own name into the history books. When he was younger, Shibusawa's father was an aide to a politician who was projected to rise through the ranks and become a politician himself. However, his boss was corrupt, and later he committed suicide after taking the blame for his boss's actions. That showed Shibusawa that being moral and ethical is not the way to go, as even the legal politicians paved their way to glory through other people's blood. Despite his hefty ambitions, however, he is not one to rush things in pursuit of power. He is crafty, patient, and cunning. He is alright with rising through the ranks with honest means. Nonetheless, he still isn't against using underhanded tactics to get what he wants, like framing Kiryu for a murder or keeping Makimura Makoto alive, even after being ordered to kill her by Dojima to use her as leverage. When I first played the game, I actually really liked Shibusawa. He seemed calm and empathetic towards Kiryu. He even pats his hand on Kiryu's shoulder as if to say, hang in there kid. But over the course of the game, we find out that everything that he did at that point in time was a facade, a facade to hide a cold heart with no care for any other soul in the world except for his own, and I find that to be excellent writing. Something that's interesting to me is the fact that he also bears a dragon tattoo, just like Kiryu. In fact, he clearly states that he wants to he has his own versions of the fighting styles that Kiryu has, starting with Rush, Beast, and Brawler. All in all, he seems to be an antagonist worthy of being a final boss. And the same could be said about his theme song, Two Dragons. I love this track. 
It symbolizes so many things and it gets to be done in one of my favorite boss battles of all time. The music has meaning, and the cutscenes have meaning too. The symbolism of the tattoos facing each other, one being colored and the other being empty. It's as if to say that Shibusawa is whole, while Kiryu is not complete, it's just an absolute masterpiece. Shibusawa is an amazing villain, but he is not the one that I respect the most. Let me give you a hint as to who it is. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. I'd really, really appreciate that. Also, tell me what your thoughts are on Shibusawa in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, because I want to know if you enjoy them as much as I do, or maybe you disagree with me and find them a little dull. Whatever the case may be, please tell me why in the comment section down below. Anyway, thanks again for watching this video. Remember to stay kind and stay chipper.